Speaking of football, the game's about to look drastically different. That's because the NFL approved a major rule change for kickoffs. The move is only intended to last one year. Then the league can decide if it wants to keep the rules, change them, or just get rid of them altogether. Let's bring in Kavitha Davidson for more. She's a sports writer and co-author of the book, Loving Sports When They Don't Love You Back. Kavitha, good to have you with us this morning. So we might need lots of charts and graphics to try and explain this to folks, but as best as you can, explain this change to us when it comes to kickoffs. Yeah, basically without getting super into the details, the NFL has decided to move the kicking team further downfield. So the kicker will start at his own 35 and the rest of his teammates will line up on the opponent's 40. Then the receiving team will line up between the 35 and the 30. So they're shrinking the distance between those two lines and the receiving team will be able to have two eligible receivers in what they're now calling a landing zone, which is the area from the 20 yard line to the to the to the goal line. They're also getting rid of fair catches, which means that if a ball is in play, if a ball lands in that landing zone or is caught and, and returned, it's caught, it has to be returned. So there are a lot of a lot of scenarios and a lot of stipulations here, but those are kind of uh, the, the major takeaways. Players are going to have to do a lot of math on the fly, I feel like. Like, where am I? What can I do now? Uh, why are they making these changes? What's the main goal here? Yeah, so in the last 10 to 15 years, the NFL has instituted a lot of small tweaks to kickoffs because kickoffs are where a really high instance of concussions happen. You know, you have players rushing downfield at full at full speed, so you have this high instance of high-impact collisions. Now, what they've seen as a result of these tweaks is that the number of concussions has gone down, but the rate has actually stayed pretty much the same. But the detrimental effect to the actual gameplay has been that the return rate has, has gone down to historic lows. Last year, it was 21.7%. So their goal with this is to make sure that the ball is actually returned. Um, I believe their goal is to get that, that return rate up to 80%. And, uh, and in order to incentivize the, the returning team in order to actually return the ball and not take a fair catch, and to incentivize the kicking team not to, not to just sail the ball into the end zone because a touchback now could result in the ball being placed on the 40-yard line. It, it does seem like, especially when you're trying to reduce the fact that, that the players on the kicking team can just really pick up speed <laughs> and get down the field that this could cut down on injuries right it does and it's interesting that you know obviously the number of of concussions went down because there were just fewer balls being returned but you know there's been a huge debate in the nfl in the last several years about whether the kickoff is even relevant anymore so you've had you know real conversations among fans and media about whether they should just have a starting position and get rid of the kickoff altogether so this is a one-year experiment based on xfl rules that have been successful um to bring relevancy back to the kickoff and we have like 45 seconds here but one one question I had when I was reading this was sort of onside kicks. Are there any changes here or how does this impact that? So that's the other major part of this. Onside kicks will only be allowed in the fourth quarter if a team is losing, and the onside kick has to be declared to the official before the play starts. So we will no longer see any more surprise onside kicks in the NFL. All right, that'll be a big change, certainly, when you know the onside kick is coming instead of guessing that it might be coming. Kavitha Davidson, great to have you on. Thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.